We are almost halfway through the month of June. Today, we will be discussing sneakers to resell in the remainder of the month. If you're not into reselling, that's okay as well. You could use this guide to know what are going to be the most hype sneakers, the most limited, or even what popular general releases may potentially go on sale because, hey, we're all trying to save some money. Specifically, we'll be discussing the name of the sneaker, the retail, the release date, and whether that sneaker will be profitable or not, or if they may even shit on shelves, resulting in a sale price. Feel free to subscribe and the post notifications this way you stay 100% updated on all these profitable releases also be sure to follow my twitter for urgent updates and info keith adam 10 such as the recent shock traps we've seen for early info before these occur endurance always has your back feel free to check it out with the link in the description below Kicking it off with the 13th, the Dunk Low Blue Suede will be dropping for $120. Pre-sale is already close to retail on these, and I even believe they're sitting at some retailers at the moment, so I'd have to, of course, say personals only. Also on the 13th for $110, the Dunk Low Celtics will be dropping. Similarly, pre-sale is already close to retail, but retail is slightly lower on these, so if you have no tax, you may be able to make some brick profit with a very poor margin on large sizes, or if you happen to have local buyers, Mostly just personal still though. Also on the 13th for $90, the Dunk Low Next Nature Blue Whisper Iridescent in grade school will be dropping. These are mostly just personals unless you already have local buyers and no tax. And lastly for the 13th for $170, the Air Max 1 Golf US Open will be dropping. In general, Air Max Golfs don't do well and I wouldn't expect this pair to be any different, so personals only. Moving on to the 14th for $150, we have the Dunk Low Clot Fragment White Dropping. Demand is very high on these understandably so this is the first dunk clock collab and they are very clean and universal colorway expect these to be profitable with a good margin or better also on the 14th for $160, the New Balance 610 Bodega, the Trail Less Taken, will be having their New Balance site drop. Unfortunately, demand isn't too high on these, understandably so. The pair isn't very nice or universal, and Bodega collabs in general have not carried that much hype in a long time. Hence, I'd say at best these have potential for brick profit with a very poor margin if you have no tax, otherwise mostly just personals. Also on the 14th for $220, the Jordan 6 Low Golf US open will be dropping like all jordan 6 golfs these won't have much demand so i'd have to say personals only and you might even be able to grab them on sale if you're patient and lastly for the 14th, the Dunk Low Splash Volt will be dropping. Pre-sale is already close to retail on these as well, and there doesn't appear to be much demand, so I would have to say personal only for these two. Then on the 15th, for $120, the Dunk Low Unlock Your Space and Women's will be dropping. These actually do appear to have some decent demand, and pre-sale is holding up. Hence, I do see some potential for lunch money with a poor to subpar margin in large sizes for these, but nothing too notable. Lastly, for the 15th, for $110 each, we have both colorways of the SB Dunk Low N7 in black and white and red dropping. Both of these should be profitable with a good margin or better. Definitely a really solid drop to look forward to. While this is the Nike date, they actually have an in-store drop on the 17th at the Herd Museum. Then on the 16th, for $200 each, we have the Nike drop for both LeBron 20 FAMUs. Despite pre-sale remaining high on these following their initial APB drop, demand still doesn't seem that great. But unlike the APB drop, Nike does have free shipping, so they might actually have potential for brick profit with a very poor margin in large sizes if you have no tax. And there are free returns on Nike anyway, so it's just worth keeping a note of as we approach the release. Also on the 16th for $170, the Air Max 1 Big Bubble Lost Sketch will be dropping. While there is some decent demand for these, unfortunately the elevated retail kills the potential they had in my opinion, so I'd say personal only for these at the moment as well. Also on the 16th for $110 each, we have the Dunk Low Gone Fishing and the Dunk Low Trout both having their full drop. Following their initial drop, they have already both bricked unfortunately, so I'd have to say personals only for these, unless you have no tax and local buyers for large sizes of the Gone Fishing pair. If you don't recall these drops via a sneaker stash shock drop, make sure to follow my Twitter for these urgent notifications because we do have some more profitable shock drops coming. And as always, if you want early information before these shock drops actually occur and much more, you can join Endurance with the link in the description below. And remember, it's so much more than just sneaker reselling. With Endurance, we really try to broaden your horizons as a reseller and entrepreneur in general. So feel 
don't forget to just take a look at the site and video if you have a second the link is in the description also on the 16th for $150 the Jordan 2 low cherry wood will be dropping like all Jordan 2 lows these are personals only and you should be able to grab them for below retail as well and lastly for the 16th for $125 the Puma LaMelo Ball MB02 low will be dropping some of these actually are decent sleeper cooks but I don't think this colorway will be one of them at the moment I'd say personals only but I'll update you guys if anything changes then on the 21st for $125 the Dunk Low Co. JP will be having their Nike drop after already dropping at many retailers. I expect these to remain profitable with a subpar to decent margin, large size being the best, so still a decent drop to look forward to. Then on the 22nd, for $160, the Air Max 1 Co. JP Michigan head-to-head -head in women's will be dropping. Unlike the Dunks, based on current demand, I'd say these are personals only. Also on the 22nd for $150, the Jordan 2 look up in the air will be dropping. Like all Jordan 2 lows, I'd expect these to just be personals and you could probably grab them for below retail as well eventually. Also on the 22nd for $120, the Dunk Low Celestial Gold Suede in women's will be dropping. These are already about retail so I'd have to unfortunately say personals only. And lastly, for the 22nd, for $200, the LeBron 20 Unknown Message in a Bottle will be dropping. Similar to the APB LeBrons, I'd say these are mostly just personals, especially when you're copying from a site that does not have free shipping. Then, on the 23rd, for $140, the Jordan 1 Low Black Cement will be dropping. It does appear they have some decent demand at the moment, but at best, I'd only expect brick profit with a poor margin as of now. And the same goes for the Dunk Low Pandas in both men, women, and green grade school which will all be returning on the 23rd for another restock one of the many we've seen lately unfortunately at this point there's so much stock in circulation that they're not very profitable but if you have no tax you can still make a little bit of brick profit so it's something to keep in mind if that's up your alley Moving on to the 29th though, the Puma MB03 Gutter Mellow will be dropping, but you'll need an NFT to get them, so you'll actually be purchasing that. With just the 175 retail, I'd say that these actually should be profitable, especially because I'm expecting these to be quite limited, but I don't know the precise details of the NFT yet, and it's not really a topic of this channel anyway, so there may be some additional costs when purchasing it, I'm not entirely sure. However, we do have a category for NFTs with people of much more expertise than myself, with an endurance who would have better input on this topic again link is in the description if you happen to be interested then sometime later this month without an announced date as of yet for 220 dollars the action bronson new balance 990 v6 lapis lazuli should be dropping the prior pair actually was quite profitable and i'm expecting the same for these so this should definitely be a really solid drop to look forward to because if anything i'm actually expecting this model to outperform the prior one just by a slight margin but anyway that's going to conclude it for today you can feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed or maybe if you learned a thing or two subscribe to stay 100% updated on all hype sneaker news and remember check out endurance with the link in the description below if you're looking to broaden your horizons as a reseller and entrepreneur with that though i will see you guys later have a fantastic rest of your day